what's up youtube actually i say what's up ladies because this is a girl talk we're having a girl talk i asked my instagram followers to ask me some questions on basically what they want some advice on for our girl talk today so if you guys see me looking down it's because i have my notes jotted down right here for what i want to talk about with you guys so the first question someone asked me was how to stop stalking your ex sis let me tell you this is a weird it's not really a weird question there's no weird questions on this channel but listen i was in this relationship for a long time and when i got out of it i felt like i just had to know what that person was doing like what are you doing you're not you know you're not with me so what are you doing and I mean, you call me crazy, call me whatever you want to call me. But I know y'all girls sitting right there and I know y'all be going through the same thing. So, come on, sis. I know it hurts. Getting, going through a breakup and having to deal with not being with someone who you were with, whether it was a year time frame of you guys being together or whether it was a month or so. You know what I'm saying? Either way, you got to create a bond with that person. But listen. How to stop stalking them i would honestly say no matter how bad because i know you gonna want to i know i know you gonna want to you gonna want to go on a page you gonna want to text them you gonna want to like i said know what they're doing because you're so used to that don't the moment that you want to text them the moment that you thinking about them you know what i'm saying like find a this is what i did i'm not an expert i'm only 18 so this is what I did. I literally found me something to keep me busy. Found me something to keep me busy. Like, <clears throat> even if it's just hanging out with your friends, find you something to keep you busy because I promise you, if you're having fun, if you're not even if you're like if you're engaging in something else, you're not gonna be thinking about that person. Even if that person crosses your mind or something, you're still busy doing something. Twiddle your fingers, do some. Don't text that person. Don't text that person that follows me into my next question how to get over an ex so number one number one number one Sis, don't text them don't text them don't text them because you're not gonna get over you're not gonna get over this is how dudes work and this is what i've realized even if you guys like separate, go y'all separate ways, and you just trying to figure out how to get over him. He's going to make it harder for you because he's a dude and he's going to entertain you and he's going to text you back and it doesn't matter. He has a million other girls he's texting as well. Not every dude is like this, but most. He has a million other girls he's texting as well. So listen, know your worth. It is so important to know your worth because if you don't know your worth, girl... And I'm not telling you like I'm judging y'all or anything like that because me, I done been through it. I done been through it. I, I didn't know my worth. At, I, I can admit that. I didn't know my worth at a point in time and I let people run over me. And if you let someone run over you, they will. Like they literally will. They will stop. They will run. They will take off. They will take off over you. Don't let someone do that. Know your worth. Know how important you are. I know that like having the ex and trying to get over it, it, it might feel like you literally can feel the pain in your heart. Like, you literally can feel that. And that might sound so weird. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then she you ain't been hurt. But listen, you can literally feel the pain in your heart. And I know sometimes you're just like, oh, my God, all these people giving me advice, just leave them alone, just do this, just do that. And I know you're not going to just leave them alone. I didn't just leave them alone. I surely didn't. I had to learn the hard way. But I don't want you guys to learn the hard way. I want you guys to learn... This way, the hard way, you will literally keep going through the same thing over and over and over and over again. And you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to be happy. You think that this person is who you want to be with the rest of your life. Imagine going through everything that you went through all of your life. All of your life. Like, don't even put the happy moments in there because that's what that's what really that's what really gets us all jumbled up in feelings and bonding everything. Because we always remember the happy moments, even if the bad outweighs the good. We're still on happy moments. Like, sis, why are you on the happy moments? The bad is outweighing the, the good. You know what I'm saying? And we're still on the happy moments just because that's what we know. That's what we want to remember. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to let this person go. 
but let it go just let it go i promise you if you let go and let god let go and let god god is going to work god is going to work he's going to work it might not even be right then and there but i promise you you are going to be thankful for knowing your worth for for figuring out who you are take that time that you're so sad and depressed to love you so you could wake up in the morning and your heart don't hurt no more your heart is smiling because you got you the next thing is patience patience is key because it's no way that your heart is going to feel love and all these things for this person and all of a sudden it's just going to go away it's, it's just not going to happen especially if you don't want it to you know what i'm saying if, if you're worried about how to get back at, at an ex or something like that obviously you don't want it to go away and then you know what i'm saying i'm that's okay because i was in that predicament too your mom is going to tell you you know listen all these boys are the same you know you know the basic story you know the basic story like i'm telling you know your worth all that everybody tells you that but you literally have to go through patience time time heals all wounds time heals all wounds and it might not feel like it it might feel like you are crashing it might feel like you are burning like but girl you're not you're not i promise you it is a light at the end of the tunnel and i'm not even this big you know what i'm saying like I'm not this big preacher type of person, but I'm through previous experience, there is light at the end of the tunnel and you only live once. So think about it this way. You don't want to spend the rest of your life just sitting here. You don't want to spend the rest of your life crying over someone who's probably sitting in their room playing a video game with their homeboys, not caring, to be honest. Not no harsh, not trying to be harsh or anything like that, but that's the truth. Boys don't have as much emotions as girls do these days. It is, it's the truth. You have to know your worth. You have to love yourself. Begin to love yourself. And I know everybody's probably looking at this video, all the girls probably looking at this video like, Brie, what? Love myself. I know I already love myself. I just want to love this person too. And I understand that. But honestly, take the time. I'm not saying you guys don't love yourself or anything like that. But if you take the time to learn, it's so much things you can learn about yourself. Like It's so much, it's so much things you can love about you. Be obsessed with you. You don't have to be cocky. You don't have to be conceited to be obsessed with you. Know who you are. Learn you. That is the best. I promise you. I promise you. Everybody told me this. And until I honestly started taking their advice, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? But realize, everybody's not perfect. And it might take you long. It might take you a long time to get over that ex. But sis, I promise you it's a light at the end of the tunnel. Wise words from Brie. If I don't tell you nothing else, if you don't listen to nothing else, there's light at the end of that tunnel and you're not going to be sad forever. I promise. The next question was, what was my opinion on how to deal with like insecurities? So I'm guessing like insecurities, like body insecurities. How would you deal with that in a relationship? Basically, I look at it like this. Everyone has a flaw. No one's perfect. No one is perfect. And if your significant other does not accept you for your flaw, that doesn't need to be your significant other. Maybe you need to take a step back and think about who it is that you're choosing to be your partner. You know what I'm saying? Because your partner is supposed to love you for you. No matter what, love you for you. I'm pretty sure, girl, let me tell you, that dusty boy have some kind of something wrong with him that he don't like. But because we so good as girls, we not going to say nothing. But I'm trying to tell you right now embrace your insecurities embrace it because you're beautiful you is beautiful you is beautiful girl you is beautiful embrace your you, listen i am 5 11 i'm honestly gonna tell you that i'm 5 11 5 i'm 5 10 but i'm tall so i'm just gonna say 5 11 and it is hard being a 5 11 female like because the whole thing is short girls short girls are cute short girls are this short girls are that that's my biggest insecurity I'm tall. I don't like being tall. I mean, I do sometimes, you know, during basketball, that, that's when it's popping, but I don't like being tall. But I embrace my insecurity. I have to embrace it. I'm here. I am who I am. And if you're going to like me, you're going to like me for who I am. If you're going to love me, you're going to love me for who I am. Period. You seen me. You knew I was tall. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Whatever your insecurity is, even if it's not something somebody can physically see as they're, as you're walking up. If it's something up under your clothes, whatever it is, embrace it. 
embrace it. Okay, you're unique. You are unique. You are you. Someone asked, what was my opinion on dating and texting? This is the funniest question to me because <laughs> I actually have three categories. I have a texting, a talking, and I have a dating. So if we texting, nah, I mean, we just texting. Like, I mean, I'm in a relationship right now, so I'm not talking about me, but I'm saying for in general, if you, if we're texting, like, no, so what? Do <laughs> like, so what is a text? It also depends though, like, what are we texting about? You gonna know if I'm feeling you, feeling you, like, feeling you, feeling you. But then that, that moves on to the talking stage because that means I'm talking to you. If I'm texting you like I'm feeling you, feeling you, I'm talking to you. Because if you texting me back like you feeling me, feeling me, then what that mean? What do that mean? That mean we talking. That mean we are on the next level to something bigger. So if we're talking, you don't need to be talking to anyone else. That's, that's mine on talking. Texting, that's nothing. You can't just say, oh, I'm texting this person. Okay, and so is the rest of the world. Like, but like dating, dating is serious. Dating is serious. If you dating, if you, if you put the title on it, it's there. It's there. Dating is self-explanatory. You, me, I'm you, what? We lie. We lie. This, it, where are we going? We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere anywhere but this day and age really dating is like yo i'ma date you for like three months and then i'ma go sleep with somebody else ain't that how it is y'all i know how it, that's how it is i don't know what's wrong with these dudes and i ain't even gonna blame it all on the dudes but really it's mostly the dudes girls it's really it's really mostly the dudes y'all that was my last question for you guys overall i just want all you girls to know that it is so much more to life it is so much more so much more to explore don't ever let no man or boy or however you are watching this don't ever let your significant other like control you and make you feel like less of you that person is supposed to be there to be your peace i always say that person is my person you get what i'm saying like i say that because when something goes wrong or when something goes good or when something goes crazy that's my person that's who i'm calling that's my person that's like another me you know what i'm saying i don't i don't always want to talk to everybody about everything but that person I want to talk to about it all but sometimes it doesn't always work and that does not mean that you're less of beautiful that doesn't mean you're less of a woman that doesn't mean that you didn't do something right that is not what that means at all that means that that journey that you wanted to go on was not your journey and that's fine because you have another one you have another one and you might not feel like you don't have another one but I promise you you, ha you have another one and please remember that you guys are beautiful. You are beautiful and know your worth. Don't let these men run over you. I've been there. I've done that. Don't let these men run over you. You are beautiful, sis. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Get me to 100. I want to get to at least 100 subscribers be before um, next month. April, May. For May, for the beginning of May, I want to at least have 100 subscribers. I'm at 48 right now, almost 50, so we're halfway there. Keep hitting that subscribe button, keep hitting that subscribe button, and like and comment on my videos, and it's so much more coming for you guys. Let me know. You could comment what you want me to do in the next video. Anything you guys want to see, I want to be able to give you what you want. So I'm going to catch you guys in my next video, and thanks for watching this one.